the greatest move of God that has ever swept this nation is here right now. From Boston, Massachusetts, to Maui, Hawaii, from Montreal, Quebec, down to Laredo, Texas, America shall be shaken one more time by the power of God with signs and wonders following and millions shall be saved. It's a miracle because like I said, I sat there and before he tweet, I wanted to run and, and jump over the gate when he said come up to the altar. I think I was like the fifth one up there. If you make a decision, God will give you power to get rid of sin instead of sin getting rid of you. There is no sin too great. Not only for God to forgive, but for God by his power to blast out of your life and set you free forever. When are we gonna wake up and realize God never gave it to the government to solve the problems of this earth? God gave it to the church of the Lord Jesus Christ to preach this good news that we're preaching on this Good Friday, that whatever problem you're in, those of you watching on TV in Philadelphia, in Pittsburgh, in Harrisburg, in Dallas, Texas, you're under those problems. Drug addiction, cocaine addiction, marijuana addiction, alcoholism, family a mess. I'm telling you, I have good news. The government can't answer it, but there is an answer. You're only one prayer away from the power of God coming down and changing your life. If you know what that name is, shout that name. Shout that name. That's what these revival meetings are. It's you getting preloaded that the next time that little punk devil that's messed with your mind, that's messed with your family, the next time he rears his head, there's a different you with a different look in your eye that says, not this time, you're going down. I'm going to make it. If God be for me, you can't be against me. Get back in your place. Ah! You're coming out. You're coming out. I have a picture here on Instagram of a man named Augustine who had just got out of jail about 10 days before, came to our meeting at Festival of Life Philadelphia, and I wrote this. Augustine had been out of prison only a few days when he came to the altar to receive Jesus Christ. The power of God hit his body. A miracle happened to his titanium case spine. He was instantly no longer crippled or in pain, and for the first time in many years began to run, jump, and shout. Jesus and said, out. in the midst of that, where wickedness abounds, there the grace and power of God that much more abounds. And I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I prophesy to everybody sitting here, to everybody watching on TV, to everybody watching online, no matter how great the attack of the devil against your life, against your marriage, against your family, against your body, you're only one prayer away from the power of God coming down and setting you free today in Jesus' name. Do you have a ton of emotional baggage? Are you exhausted from carrying it around? Let God lift your burdens. Welcome to Revival Today. We need a new generation. Father, let it start tonight that say I live in this world, but I'm not of this world. I'm not gonna do what they tell me to do. I'm gonna do what you've told me to do. I'm gonna be holy and live for you. If that's you, I want you to let everybody in heaven hear you. Clap those hands and shout unto the living God.